So David, we know that during pandemic times, a lot of people are asking, are applying for a job and it's becoming with the great resignation, a lot of people are applying and, and they are kind of sometimes low. So do you have any tips in terms of how can they differentiate themselves when applying for a job? Yeah, so many people are in transition. It's the great resignation. And the reason they are is that they're looking outside of them and attaching their emotions to an outcome. Instead, what they should be doing to get a job is looking to see what skills they have, want, or need, what knowledge they have, want, or need, and how their desire is aligned with not only the skills and knowledge, but the industries, careers, and jobs that are aligned with the skills, knowledge, and desire that they have. If you are an entrepreneur, if you are looking for a job, you need to know what skills you have, want, or need, what knowledge you have, want, or need, and how your desire is aligned with that industry, career, job, et cetera. And you will find great success, not by searching for what other people want for you for a job, what you don't want, what's missing, but simply what are your skills. And then use things like sports as a backdrop. It's not an industry. It's a backdrop to your skills, knowledge, and desire. Use digital media, influencer, all of these different terms that people think are industries. They're not. They're just backdrops to your skills, your knowledge, and your desire. If anybody needs any help with that, reach out to me, david at dmelter.com. I'm more than happy to help you transition to find that new career you're looking for. And in one of your posts, you talked about asking for help or being persistent when, when applying for jobs or persistent in life. And that's how I reach out to you. And here we are now having the conversation. Exactly. I live by what I say. I say by what I do. I do is as I say. It's not what I say. It's what you hear. But it's important that you live by and do. That's why I have a 520 rule, five minute meetings, five minute phone calls, 20 minute meetings and interviews uh, to allow us to accommodate and be accessible to others. And I appreciate that. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, leave them below and tune in tomorrow for another great question with David.